Hey folks, I'm going to do a quick and dirty uh, instructional video on how to create a listening example question for a Moodle quiz. If you teach music, um, whether it be music history or music theory, some kind of music literature class or something like that, one of the main ways of assessment is to give a listening exam where students have to identify an unknown musical example or you know one from your listening list, but they're not supposed to know what's playing. They have to identify it, tell you who wrote it, what it was, you know, what kind of piece it is, and maybe something interesting about it. And uh, we normally do this face-to-face, -face, but it can be done online, and I've done it many times, uh, especially for our graduate listening exam and uh, in my online classes. So I'm going to show how I make a listening question now. This is for the benefit of my colleagues and anyone else out there on the interwebs who is uh, suddenly having to put everything online. So um, the first thing you need is your example. I've got here just a, a piece I grabbed out of one of the music history anthologies. I don't know how to do this from a streaming service yet, at least how to, how to make it only play the part you want. So I always use local files that I edit in Audacity. So I'm going to right click, choose open with Audacity, and uh, that will import the MP3, and then I've got a you know, just select a portion. You could start right at the beginning, but in a piano concerto of this historical time period, that would be kind of mean because the piano would probably won't come in until about the one and a half or two minute mark. Seems like uh, it's about right here. Um, wait, I need to. Um, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, there's the piano. I think that I want to start it a little bit, maybe right in the middle of this big burst of stuff right here. Let's see. All right, that's fine. So um, I'm going to select the beginning of this example from the point where I just had the cursor and press backspace to delete that part. And then I'm going to, I want to zoom in a little bit so I can see um, I'm going to select about seven seconds of music right at the beginning and do under the effect menu a fade in. It's a more elegant way of starting a musical example than just having some really loud abrupt sound. And then I'm going to go over here to about just after one minute and select from there to the end, press backspace and that deletes everything after that mark and now I'm going to do a fade out on the back end. So we have a nice fade in, fade out, and now I'm ready to save this as a separate audio file. So I go to File, Export Audio, and then I gotta give it a file name, let's say example 02. Um, I'm gonna make it an MP3 file at a quality of 128 kilobytes per second, and choose Save. Oop, there's one more step here, and that is to get rid of the metadata that the file holds, because uh, if a student downloaded this from your exam and uh, knew enough about what he or she was doing to view the metadata for the file, they could just grab all kinds of information about it and cheat on the test that way. So we're going to clear that and then uh, put in, I, I usually give the course name for my artist on these kinds of things. So this is actually Music 470. Track title, example two, whoopsie, not example E, example two, album title, let's call this test three. And we could put a year if we want, 2020. And then just press OK, and it will export that. And now we've got an audio file that is considerably shorter. There it is. Now what I want to do is use that in a new question on Moodle for my question bank. So I'm going to go to Moodle. This probably works about the same on other learning management systems, but this is what we use here. I'm going to go to, under Course Administration, there is Question Bank, and then, whoopsie. Uh, oh, I guess I accidentally, I didn't think I clicked Question, but there we are. I want to create a new question. you got all kinds of options for uh, the types of question. For, for my listening exams, I normally do an essay where they listen and then they've got to type in all the information about it. The downside of this is that it, it takes manual grading. It will not grade itself. 
for my for my music appreciation classes, I'll usually have uh, multiple choice on these things because I want those to be graded automatically. But for my advanced classes, I'll make essay questions. So I'm going to choose essay and click add. You can do whatever kind of question you want for this. But uh, the point I'm going to show you is the critical bit. Uh, so let's call this question name example two. Oops, I meant to type two. And then I've got some question text that I like to put in here where I give them an instruction for this. Give composer, title, genre, and two pieces of information. And I press enter. And what I want to do now is insert the audio file by clicking on the media button. <coughs> and then uh, I will click browse repositories, choose file, do mp3, upload this file. And um, I'll just call this example two and say insert media. Now, right now, it just looks like link text, like it's going to link to a website or something. But Moodle has a media filter, and um, at least um, it, it has one. Your, your Moodle administrator may or may not have enabled the media filter, but it will take things like MP3 links and YouTube links and automatically render them with play buttons. So after I click Save Changes, you'll see um, that it has a play button instead of just a link. I'm going to change the number of points possible to five instead of one. There's all kinds of other options down here you can fiddle with if you want to. I'm not going to. Um, I'm just going to click Save Changes. And now that will be among my questions. So here's my question. I, I want to click the preview button so we can see what it's going to look like. And there we go. So now it says give composer title genre two pieces of information and I can listen to it by clicking play. Ooh, I'm going to type while it's playing. Ooh, ooh, I know this one. This must be Palestrina. Uh, concerto for bassoon. In D flat diminished. Um, yeah, it's a mass, you know. Okay, so clearly I'm not going to do very well on this question, but they just type in the answers and then click Submit. And uh, as the instructor, I'm going to have to go in there and grade it later. <coughs> all right, so that's, that's probably all you need to know if what you want to learn is how to make a listening question on Moodle. Now, um, I'm going to give you one more. You could stop right here if, if you've seen enough, but I'm going to give one more tip on this. This is how I like to do them because I like working with raw HTML instead of the WYSIWYG editor. And so what I would do is go in here where you see this little icon right here. You can click the HTML button and it'll show you the source code for this example. I'm going to separate this paragraph from the other one. And um, what I want to extract from here is the address of that file that we just created, the example2.mp3. And so to do that, I select the URL that is in between the href equals quote unquote. So I'm going to copy that and go over here. This right here, this code is uh, creates an HTML audio player. And so all you need to plug in is the address that I just copied from over there. And now if you grab this block of code, copy it, and then come over here, I'm just going to replace this whole paragraph with the block I just made. And watch what happens when I save the changes now. Oh, actually, I don't even have to save it. I just have to get out of the source code view and back into the WYSIWYG and looky there. There's an audio player all ready to go. And that way you don't have to rely on the possibility of your um, learning management system having an audio filter to convert a regular link into an audio player. Okay, so now I'm going to save the changes. Um, that's, that's probably it. I think I'm going to stop now and um, good luck with it. I hope everyone has a uh, an okay time converting all of their instructional materials to online learning.
Thanks, y'all. Bye.